Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I had asked on my Instagram, did anyone want to see a makeup show haul video? And a bunch of you said yeah, so that's why I'm recording it now. Uh, the makeup show was this past Sunday and Monday. And so yeah, basically it's just a trade show that you go to. Um, that event in particular is a pro event, which means you have to either be a makeup student or already in the beauty industry in order to get in. But there are other events like IMATs and such where you can go and there's really great deals and they have classes and you get to meet the brands of the, you know, you get to meet the people behind the brands that you love. It's a really, really great experience. So if you're able to go to the makeup show or IMATs or BeautyCon or any of those events, definitely try to at least make it out to one. Um, it's definitely really motivating and inspiring to be around um, the veterans in the industry and it's also great to meet like the ex inspiring artists and those people that have that like drive and really really want to make it it really puts things into perspective and definitely gives you like a little extra because at least for myself as a makeup artist it's, it's kind of like a very lonely <laughs> business you know I do everything myself and you know I just spend time with my clients and such I do have like some makeup artist friends so I do get to see them occasionally but for the most part you kind of do it um, by yourself so it's great to like go to one of those events and kind of be around people that share the same passion as you at all levels of artistry it's great you see um, they have body art going on which I'm like obsessed with temp2 and Kit cosmetics they both had um, little stations where you can see um, those transformations take place from beginning to end and there's classes that you can sit in and learn different techniques and stuff So it was a really really great experience. And I'm glad I went so yes enough of the rambling I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got um, whenever I go to a makeup event I always obviously pick up my staples the things that I love that I'm running low on but I also like to try out new brands um, because that's how you find what you like you know in all of these all of the vendors usually have like a really good discount it's usually between like 20 and 40 percent some of them have 50 percent depending on um the the brand so yeah you just basically go you get to try out a lot of the stuff they always have like samples and such you can try it on your skin and see what it looks like and the people that work there are always really really helpful so thank you so much to all the brands that did gift me something from your line i really really appreciate it so yeah let's get started also sorry <laughs> let's get started by the way um, so I also have included two items which I did not pick up at the makeup show but I just received them the last day or so and I like love them so I decided to include them in this video as well um, I'll save those until the end so if you guys want to see what they are just stay tuned so yeah now for real let's let's go into um, all the things that I got so the first thing that I always pick up like I like literally run to their booth are disposable items I like to pick up my stuff from Dante Disposables. Um, I prefer to get it at the makeup show. Their shipping is a little bit expensive, so whenever I do have the opportunity to pick up some of their disposable stuff, I always grab it from them. So I just picked up some pointy Q-tips. These are really, really important. I like if you ever like mess up your eyeliner or anything, um, they're a great way to like clean up the eyeliner, anything that you may get in the inner tear duct. Um, so yeah, they're just a great tool to have. Uh, they used to be a little pointier. But these are semi-pointy. Um, and I also pick up mascara wands. I picked up a lot of these. So basically, you just, whenever you're working with a client, you don't want to use it outside of the, you don't want to use it straight from the tube. Because that's how you get bacteria. And, you know, you're putting one client's, you know, bacteria on another client. And that's how people get infections and such. So I just pick up a bunch of mascara wands. A little crack right with the mascara wands. Um, so I picked up um about 10 packs of these they have about 25 each um and i believe they were two dollars or 250 compared to when you get them at lake Harmon, i think they're close to four dollars so it was a pretty good deal so i always pick up a bunch of these um i also like to pick up just little uh, lip brushes and these are just disposable lip brushes and i like to give them to my brides i also have little mini um containers I didn't have to buy any because I still have a really, really good amount. I believe Dante Disposable has maybe like 100 in the box. 
uh, for like seven bucks so I bought it at the last show so all I needed was just little lip brushes and it's just something that I give to my brides I take a little bit of the product out lip gloss whatever I stick it in there lipstick I scrape it off uh, with a spatula stick it in the little container and then I just give it to them I'm like so they can get through the day so the next thing that I picked up I picked up a lot of lashes um, not a lot not as much as I usually pick up um, because there was only, and this was the only thing I was kind of disappointed about. I usually go to the makeup show in hopes of getting, like, my lashes for the rest of the year until the next show. Um, but I like to keep red cherry lashes in my kit. But I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're not in production anymore or they took a break or something. But, like, they have been, like, impossible to find. Um, my favorite lash style for brides is 523s and 415s. And they didn't have that style because um, they had Cara eyelashes and Posh eyelashes. They're, they're similar. But I just, you know, I have a preference so I just picked up uh, probably like 30 or 40 of these and then I just went online and ordered from my my eyelash company that I usually order from which is I, uh, iKateHouse.com and they didn't have red cherries either. They didn't have the styles that I needed. So I picked up um, creme lashes which I ordered them last time and they were pretty similar and I believe they are, might be like $1.50 each. So yeah, that's what I picked up from there. And I do like these lashes. So if the brand doesn't necessarily matter, I kind of find myself being a little bit brand loyal like in life. So, but what you want to look for when you look for a lash, um, I like lashes that have a really, really thin band. Almost invisible because sometimes you're not going to wear eyeliner and you can pop them on and you don't have to worry about the band being too thick. So the Posh Lashes did have a really thin band. So I went with those. I'm not sure about the quality so far yet, but they look pretty good. They look similar to Red Cherry Lashes. Um, I picked up a few random styles since they didn't have my, you know, two that I prefer. So the next thing that I picked up, um, I actually was really, really excited about these. I was hesitant on buying them only because I have purchased from a different company in the past. So I don't know if anyone noticed, I got my little stiletto nails so yeah these are really really cute uh this one is like a leopard nail and this one is more like a glitter texture this has crystals on it and then the thumb and the pinky are matte my favorite part of it is underneath they're like louboutin nails they're super fly i'm like obsessed with them um the company was static nails and I actually picked up two styles. The reason why I was hesitant on buying them was because I have purchased, I believe, the Kiss ones. I picked them up from like Walmart or something. They weren't stiletto, they were regular nails. And the glue that it came with, I was not too sure about it. So I used crazy glue. Don't know if that was a good idea or not. But anyway, I, I figured crazy glue is the best glue you can get. They popped off in like a day. So I was like, it's such a waste of money. Like I'm not gonna get them again. So I was speaking to the owner. She was telling me, like, their glue was, like, supposedly, like, the best glue ever. So I said, let's try it. I was like, eh, why not? I actually purchased them the first day of the show, put them on that night, and they've been, they're legit. They've been, like, holding on. I'm, like, super impressed. I love them. They have different styles. They're not all stilettos. Um, so these, the ones that I'm wearing, they're called Wild One. And it does come with um, 24 nails, 12 different sizes, a little nail file, and glue. And it has like a little pouch so you can keep the nails in. I can show you. So yeah, these are just like extra nails that it comes with. Came with a little fancy pouch to keep your nails in. It's a static nails. Comes with a little nail file. Um, I also really like that I have a bigger nail bed. Um, I really didn't have to file too many of the nails down. Only I believe like two just along the edge. And then it does come with the glue. Um, she told me that you can wear them I believe for two weeks. And the nails are reusable up to six times. I've been wanting stiletto nails. But I just don't have time to go to the nail salon. And like upkeep it. Because I just don't. So picking those up was super easy and I can do it myself and it took me maybe five to ten minutes. Um, so the other ones I got, they're called Crystal. These are like super cute. These are definitely a little bit more like fallish, but I had to put them on because I was obsessed with the, the red bottomness of them. So 
then I picked up Crystal. It's the same little setup. It's the glue, the nail file. But these are a little bit more round. They basically look like this. Each nail has a little crystal on the top. And then there is one nail that is totally, totally blinged out. So they're super cute. And I'm definitely going to do a full review on these after I use them for the two weeks. I'm going to see how long they last. I'm sure I'm a little rough just in life. So I'm probably going to pop one or two off. But I'll see how long they last before I switch them out for these. So yeah, I believe these were $20 each at the show. Um, I checked online. They do have different styles. I believe they start at $15. And ones that are similar to these are probably like $35. So like I said, if you ever have a chance to go to a show like this, definitely go because that's where you get like really good deals and you can try stuff out that you know you wouldn't necessarily buy. So yeah, find the link for these at the bottom as well. Something else I bought. So... I'm a big Flutter Lashes fan. Um, I only own, I believe, one or two of their lashes. But my good friend Ellie Marino always wears these lashes. I'm actually wearing them, so they're not in the face, sorry. They're called Camilla Lashes. I am freaking obsessed with them. Like, I've been, like, drooling over those lashes forever. And when I saw their booth, I was like, I have to get them. So I picked up a pair. I'm totally kicking myself in the butt for not getting, like, ten. But I can always order online. So, yeah. They are flutter lashes. I don't know if you can see these. But I took pictures of them, so I'm going to be posting a close-up for anybody that wants to see them close-up. They're going to be on my Instagram probably tomorrow. So yeah, they have a bunch of different styles. I believe I paid $20 for these as well. They were 50% off. Um, these are mink lashes, which means you can wear them 25 to 30 times depending on how well you take care of them. You always want to make sure you take your lashes off at the end of the night. Put them back in the case, take the glue off really, really gently, especially on mink lashes because the the little hairs are not as secure as with like a synthetic lash or like a different style of lash. So you definitely want to be more careful with these because I definitely have ruined a bunch of mink lashes just by trying to take the glue off too fast. Um, so yeah, and I definitely will keep you guys posted on how these last, but <sighs> obsessed. Also, um, this is from Magnolia Makeup. So I have a slight obsession with highlighters. Loose, pressed, liquid. I'm there. So this was actually one of their new illuminators. This is in the shade Glow. It is gorgeous to die for. I'm actually wearing it in my tear duct right now. I'm just going to do a quick swatch for you guys. Just gonna do a quick swatch of this. It's like this super pretty luminescent champagne shade. Um, and this is in glow. So the next thing is okay, so Makeup Forever is launching their new foundations. I just need a moment of silence. Just, just me and me and my foundation. Okay, so let's just talk about the foundation struggle. For whatever reason, my skin there is I have not found one company that has my foundation. Like I have to mix everything, which is like it's okay, but it's annoying because that means in every foundation I have to buy two shades. So I've never been able to find one foundation. I'm lying. I did find Cover FX, but I still needed to wear a darker powder. Um, I'm actually... So yeah, I am about two shades darker um, since I did some tanning when I was on vacation a few weeks ago. So I basically... The, the girl, Rachel, she basically came up to me and then we just started talking about the new foundations. And I was like, you know, I you guys don't have my shade, blah, blah, blah. Because I usually mix... I'm in, in Makeup Forever. I use 153 and 170 mixed. And in the summertime, I mix 170 and 173. And then in the winter, since I can use 170 by itself with like a drop, I mean not 173, I can use 153 by itself with like a drop of 170. So yeah, I at least have to buy like two or three foundations. So it's like kind of annoying. Um, but basically they came out with their 4D, it's like a 4D foundation. Guys. 
I died. So I tried to sit it for the first time because I kind of wanted to see how it looks and if it like matched me. Although I swatched it there. The girl's like, oh, it matches you perfectly. I'm like, I'm probably going to get home and it's going to look totally different. I am freaking obsessed with this foundation. Okay, so they came out with a bunch of new shades like in between their other shades, which is why she was like, they probably have your shade now. So I'm like, alright, I guess I'll try it because I have been on the hunt for a new foundation. I did say in my last video that I was retiring my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which makes me really sad because I actually really do like that foundation, but I just think I kind of grew out of struggling with it. I did do it for a while and I like was like, no, but I love it. But I'm gonna like, I'm gonna fight for this foundation. It was like a relationship, but I just decided that it was just too much work. I couldn't wear it for a long period of time. I was like, wait, how long am I going to be out? Because if I wore it for longer than like three or four hours, the color change, it oxidized really strange, at least in that shade. The foundation, the formula, everything is a really good foundation. But for my shade, which was Toasty Toffee, it just didn't work for me anymore. So yes, my new shade is Y425. Um, they, the Y now means yellow and then I believe they have R's which are a little bit red or like pink. So yeah, this is my new foundation. I don't believe that it launches until June or May or June. So I'm going to have to make this bottle last. I don't know how because I like want to bathe in it. But yeah, so this is their new foundation. Oh, let's talk about what it, that means, the 4 d -ness. So basically I know that it's supposed to look like skin and with all of like the HD cameras and stuff, this is supposed to like give you that really, really like HD like smoothed effect. And I love it. It photographs really, really nicely. Um, it's supposed to be like second skin. It is a medium coverage foundation with a satin finish. I did apply two layers because I do like more of a medium to full coverage. So I just applied my one layer, let it sit for like, I don't know, like 20 seconds. And then I applied just a little bit extra for some double coverage and it's beautiful. It has a light diffusing formula which makes your skin look flawless and feel moisturized. And I totally agree, great foundation. Um, it's also oil free, so for all of you gals that are a little bit oilier, or don't like oil in your foundation like me, um, this is definitely a great alternative. I would definitely look into it. So yeah, I'm like so excited I don't even wanna, I think I'm just gonna hold it for the rest of the video. The next thing is, these are Alcon makeup wipes. They come individually wrapped. This product I have not used. Some of these products I haven't used and I will tell you which ones I haven't and which ones are staples in my kit that I am restocking. Um, these are professional makeup removers. I like that they're individually wrapped, which means that they will stay nice and moist until you have to use them. Thank you, Vincent. Um, so I'm definitely gonna try those. I'm super excited. So I'm all about makeup wipes. I spent a lot of money on makeup wipes. Um, yeah. Makeup wipes are expensive. I got some stuff from Kat Von D. Oh, I love her line. So, just a little cutesy bag. Thank you so much. Um, and this is Backstage Bambi. It is like a hot pink. Um, she has her own liquid lipstick line. Um, I do own one or two of her shades lolita which i waited forever for but i love it It was totally worth the wait so it's basically just a hot pink liquid to matte formula um her formula is really nice um it doesn't have a super super drying feeling but it does have a drying feeling that's what a matte lipstick is that's basically what's going to keep it on your lips all day so you want to make sure that you exfoliate you moisturize before um, then I like, so basically I just like to exfoliate, take off the exfoliant obviously, then I moisturize, leave, I usually do that in the morning before, if I know I'm going to wear a matte, then I take that off and then I apply this and I usually don't have a problem. Um, so yeah, this is Bambi, it's like a nice hot pink color. I also got the new Tattoo Liner. This is a Trooper. So it is just... Oh yes yes that was really effortless nice and swift yeah I like it hmm. and it dries like really quickly um one of the other items I received was wolf 
I'm assuming it is, it is a liquid eyeliner as well. Same thing, it's just a, it's like a gray color. I love her packaging, I think Kat Von D has some of the sickest packaging. And then, so this is the name, Bachelorette, it's the lipstick, um, let me see what it looks like. Ugh, I love this. It's studded. It's like a nice studded case. I like that the box has a nice studded texture on it. I'm all about packaging. I don't know. So it's basically... Ooh. And her name is engraved in that. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I would say Bambi is like a true red true 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 red and i love it kind of matches my yeah hello so i will not swatch this sorry guys i like to you know take pictures of my makeup before i use it weird i know but i'll wear it soon for you guys okay me maybe be an adult so this is the shade and light eye I own the Shade and Light Contour Kit, and I'm freaking obsessed with it. It's amazing. So this is the eye version of it. It's an, it's, they call it an eye contour palette. I used it once. Sorry. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It is an all matte palette. Um, it ranges from very light, turn it this way, very light to a black shade. They're very, very pigmented, as you can see. True to the pan. I'm all about products being true to the pan because there's nothing worse than when you're looking at something like, wow, that's beautiful. Then you get home and you put it in your face and you're like, who always wants to do that? I guess that was the time. I'll be waiting at the brand's door because it was not what it said it was supposed to be. So yes, this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful palette. Um, I believe that it is, I'm going to guesstimate, $48. You can get it at Sephora. I'm sure you can get it on the Kat Bendy website, sephora.com. Um, anywhere that sells her products, you could probably just type it into Google and they will tell you. Anyway, I love it. It comes with a little book. Well, it's not really a book it's a it's a little pamphlet that tells you how to use this so you have to define your eyes lift your eyes balance your eyes I love stuff that comes with little instructional manuals makes it very user-friendly for people that want to get into makeup and don't necessarily know how to so I love when companies actually incorporate some type of little instruction or little picture demos I'm a very visual person I like packaging I like demos you know so yes and this is the shade and light eye it is the brush that comes not with it, it is the brush that's sold separately for the eye palette well that's cute it's like a little brush coffin where makeup goes to die just kidding I don't know if I should it's so emo of me so yes this is what no like I'm actually <laughs> really digging this packaging I wish I can stick like other makeup items in here and like just throw them in my bag but it is made specifically for the brush it looks like this so it has one blending side and one very pointy side yes it's very very stiff I like that so you can put it right into the tear duct or you can go right along the bottom lash line really really tight to the waterline so I thought it twisted off and something popped out so yes shade and light the brush I love it I have not used it yet Ouch! Pinch myself, but I will so I just picked up these were already in my kit um, face atelier I'm saying that right so these are just a uh, silicone based um, foundations I ordered them not too long ago I actually have been using them in my kit for over a year 
but I just ordered some refills a few months ago because I couldn't wait until the makeup show. So I just got the shades that I needed. Um, 11 and 8. They're really, really tiny and they look like they don't last a long time, but they actually really do last a long time. Um, they are SPF free, oil free, you know, all that good stuff that I personally like in foundations and I find that a lot of other makeup artists also like that in foundations. Oh, one more thing about foundation. So, I, whenever I buy a foundation for my kid, I always buy it for myself because I like to use it for a few weeks because I have really sensitive skin. Um, so, if I don't have a problem with it, most people probably will not have a problem with the foundation. So, I always like to do that. I like to see how it wears. I like to see, use it with different products, see if it like breaks up, how it photographs, different lightings, you know, things like that. Because you don't want to commit to like 20 shades and then you're like, crap, this is... This sucks. So I always buy in one shade or two for me because you know I have to mix. Um, and then I just like to test it out. This was, I, ha I have tested this out which is why I know that I really really like it. Um, I am shade 8 mixed with 10. I also picked up just two Morphe brushes. I am embarrassed by the number of brushes I have. But I was really proud of myself because I did not go brush crazy. I usually do. I'm usually like brushes. Um, and they usually have really great deals on brushes, but this year I only bought a few brushes, not just these two, I have a few more. But um, I just needed some fan brushes. I don't actually have any of these, which is very strange because I thought I owned every style of brush from every brand out there. I don't. So these are just little fan brushes. You can apply highlighter with them. Um, I always like to wash my brushes after you get them because just they've been in the factory, you don't know. You just don't know. So I always make sure that I wash my brushes with antibacterial soap. Um, and for myself, as an artist, I always like to... The reason why I have so many brushes, let me try to like justify that. Um, whenever I work with like a bridal party or like a bigger party, I always like to make sure that I have enough brushes to at least get through five people without having to stop and clean because I'm always like, go, go, go. Like, you know, things always come up. You're always like kind of rushing. Someone might be late. Something always happens and you don't want to spend too much time cleaning brushes in between. One or two brushes that you might need is fine, but if you have to clean your whole set, that takes time out from, you know, working on the client. So I like to make sure I at least have five sets, five complete sets of brushes so I can at least get through that many people without having to stop. These are, for those wondering, the Morphe 310s. Super cute. I saw, I don't remember who used these on Instagram, but I saw them. I believe Morphe was not there this year, but I believe it was, I believe it was like Ricky's. Oh, is this the bag? Yeah. Ricky's. That's it. Just Ricky's. Pick these bad boys up. Um, I believe they were $5 each, which is a really good deal. I love Morphe brushes. They're really soft and really comparable to higher um higher end brushes like mac and stuff like that so yeah can't wait to use these so since we're on brushes i'm just gonna finish up with the brushes that i got because i didn't get too too many um i actually picked these up from crown i just got let me take them out so i just picked up some these are basic like detailer brushes. Um, I picked up because I run through eyebrow brushes. I guess it's because I do one my eyebrows every single day when I'm trying to be cute. Um, and you know obviously I do eyebrows on every person. So I run, I like, I don't know, the spoolie comes off. This part like always like gets loose. So the bristles are moving everywhere. So I just picked up two of these. Um, these are from Crown. I've never used Crown brushes but they felt really nice. And they were really inexpensive. There's like a lot of like just dust coming out of there. Yeah, so that's why I always like to clean them and like wash them antibacterial soap. So yeah, I just picked up two angled brushes. And they have, they're double ended. This side has a spoolie on it. They don't have numbers online. They do have numbers. Um, This is the IB131 angled liner spoolie brush. But I find that for eyebrows these would be great. Um, also, like a lot of brushes do have names just because they're to, you know, assist people that may not know what they're for, but you don't have to use the brush for what it says. Something can say, 
I don't know, eyeshadow blending brush. And if you want to do your whole face with that, it will take you some time, but go for it, girl. Um, so yeah, I just picked up, these are the C160s. They are angled like eyeliner brushes. For everyone that knows me knows I'm obsessed with Inglot 31T liner brush. It's my favorite brush. It's the one that I probably have like 10 of. But I'm always down to try a new brand and, you know, see what else is out there. So I just picked up two of those. Um, I like to use a flat like detailer brush. And this is what I use like right under my lash line when I want to get really close to the waterline. So these are great. I already have a few, but I decided to pick up one. Um, this is the C432. Um, I also picked up one of these. This is just the mini smudger brush. It's just a tiny little smudger brush. And this is the same thing as the flat detailer brush. This is, it's just a little bit um, less dense. This, this one does not have a number. Sorry guys. And then I just picked up a few blending brushes. Uh, the C200 is the, the deluxe crease brush. And then I picked up a blending crease brush, which is the C330. So, yeah, just a few blending brushes. You can never have too many blending brushes. Really quick, I should have probably said this before. Sorry, guys. My hair, I was just not. I was just not. After I was done with my makeup, I was like, done. I was just not feeling it. And I wasn't going to mention it because we're already, like, halfway through. But, like, you know, after you think of something, you're like, I have to. Like, there's just no way I, I can, like, not say something. So, yeah, it just had to be said. Um, so the next product that I'm going to talk a little bit about... I was actually really excited. This is from Ashanta Sheriff. These are the Perfect Face. I actually purchased one uh, at the last show in my shade and I really liked it. She was really sweet and she gave me a few of the other shades to try out as well. Um, she's a celebrity makeup artist and she's just a doll and I love her. So thank you so, so much. Um, I have... This is a test for these nails. These bad boys are not popping off because I am rough. So I have four of the shades. I, I want to say I have light, medium, dark, and deep, but I'm just gonna. I got a bit of. Yes. So the shades that I have in my hands are deep. Tan, light, and dark. So light, tan, uh, deep, and dark. So those are the four shades that I have. So essentially all it is, is it's a highlighting and contouring stick. So you basically, depending on your shade, and it's, it's really a great idea, it's like genius. So depending on your shade, one is made for you. So it already has a highlighting shade, which Personally, I like to do two shades up, two shades down. Um, so you basically would, you know your type of skin, you know what shade you are. So you basically would just get one. This would be the highlighting shade. And then this would be the contouring shade. It is a cream product. I'll do it on this hand. Goes on really, really smooth. You can tell I'm right handed, I'm struggling. Um, and then you basically wind them back in and you pop the caps on. And it definitely cuts out carrying around a lot of products. I personally carry around an obnoxious amount of stuff. Whenever I go on vacation, I don't know if any of you own a Zuka, but I keep my personal makeup I try to do two Zuka bags like the not the Zuka bag like the little pouches I try to keep it to two usually when I go on vacation I wear very very minimal makeup but if I leave it home it's just like what if I need it like what if Obama shows up I don't know like but I just I don't know I seriously have like an attachment to my makeup it's it's really a problem um so yeah there's just 
They're just all different types of variations. I will swatch these all on my skin. Um, I would say that I'm medium to tan so that you guys can see how they all translate on me in case you guys are interested in picking them up. I think the reason why I did not start YouTube is because I talk too damn much. I was like, people are going to unfollow me because I talk so much. I think that was my fear. It's not that I'm nervous, it's that I talk too much. So, I'm sorry, this video is probably really long. I've... I'm sorry. Yes. But, like, you can't get me talking about makeup. Like, it's just not... It's not okay. I'm just going to talk about it forever. Okay, so this bag is from Gleam. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Freaking amazing. I actually have their highlighter on right now. I own their loose pigments and now I own the other. Thank you so much Melanie Mill. She was like by far one of the sweetest human beings I've ever met. And they actually just came out with with some glosses. Now I know for future reference that I, everything should kind of be like ready. Everything's still in like the packaging and the box. I Probably so much ruffling and noise and I'm sorry guys. This is a learning experience for me. I promise that next time I will do better. They recently launched, these are their um, lip radiants. I will swatch them all for all of you guys. If you guys want, these are their new lipsticks. Glosses, not lipsticks, I'm sorry. Um, if you guys wanna know the names, I'm gonna try. This is called With My Heels On. This one's called Up Against the Wall. They are not playing with these names. This one is called Unstoppable. This one is called Uncontrollable. Okay, Melanie. Okay, girl. Uh, this is called Pop My Cork. This one is called Naked. And this one is called Unforgettable. Beautiful, beautiful glosses. Let me just swatch one on my skin just so that I can tell you a little bit more about the pigment because I haven't actually used these yet. Mm. So it's a very, very subtle gloss, but there is some color payoff in that. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see anything. Sorry, I'm gonna do one of the other colors. Cause this ring light, it like washes everything out. Okay, this one's better, you can see. So it definitely, you can definitely wear it on its own. It's gonna give you a nice sheen with some color. See, that one that I swatched right there is unstoppable. It's that bottom one. If you can see this one right here, that one is called Naked. I already own their loose um, pigments, which I like to use as highlighters. You can add them to the eyes. You can basically add them anywhere on the body, but these are their body radiance. They're basically the same shades. There's four of them. Um, there's light gold. There is rose gold, which is my absolute favorite. There is bronze gold, and then there is deep gold, and they all work with different skin tones, or you can kind of play around with them. I like to wear them all. Um, so this is basically just their um, it's like a liquid illuminator. You can add this into your foundation or just on your skin. It gives you the most beautiful bronze glow. So I'm going to show you bronze gold. And it basically, I'm just going to apply, oh, let me show you my skin before. And I'm just going to apply a little bit too much, to my skin. And then you're like, it's like a lotion, but like not. Can you guys see that? It's like, it's perfect. So this is great to add into your kit. If you have like brides, they want a little bit more glow to their skin. I recently did a blog post on beyondthelashes.com of all their, the loose pigments that you can, so you can see how I, they swatch. You can see how they swatch when you add a little bit of like uh, some type of liquid product, like Fix Plus, or you can add water or some type of mixing medium. And then you can see how I mixed it in to my foundation as well. So these are like amazing and they smell, they smell good. So this is the daddy. This is rose gold. This is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite radiant dust. Um, I own it in a little tiny one.
So it's just like a champagne um shade with like a hint of rose, like literally. We're almost done, like we're literally at the end. Guess what? More highlighters, guys. Yeah. So I received the new Violet Voss highlighters. It came out with three shades. Thank you so much, Violet Voss. And I like to try all of the highlighters because some of them are a little bit stronger for nighttime. Some of them are a little bit softer. Some of them have different like reflex in them. Um, so they shimmer differently. So yeah, I'm all about all about highlighters. These are the shades. The first one is Glow with the Flow. Love it. This one is Ready, Set, Glow. This one is Glow with it. Love the names. Great job by the Walls. They're freaking stunning. You guys are probably like, didn't she just do highlighters? Who needs 25 highlighters? Me. I actually need 25 more highlighters because I'm that obsessed with highlighters. We're almost done, guys. The next thing that I got, I stopped at Smashbox to pick up my staple primer, which is Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, I like Oil Free and the original formula. There's a bunch of different formulas. Corrector shades, greens, purples, um, those all cancel out different issues may, you may have, dullness, redness. But I like the original formula. If I have to do any color correcting, I do have quads that I basically use for that. And this is a new product with, which I actually wanted to try. It's called Photo Finish Primer Water. I didn't really want to try it before I got there, but the guy like talked it up and I was like, yes, I'll take it. So it's basically... I wish I could just tell you the way he said it because I was like I need it yeah it's basically I know that it has electrolytes in it and you basically it's a water and you just apply it to your skin you can either use it as a primer you can use it um after to set your makeup and I tried it on my hands and I actually really really like how it felt um I did wear it the next day but because I, I actually was going to be at the NYX booth and my beautiful Maria Maquillage um, Miriam NYC on Instagram. She was actually doing a few demos on me, so I didn't actually set my foundation with powder, so I did get a little bit oilier. Um, so I'm not 100% positive how I feel about this product yet, but it feels amazing on your skin. But I will keep you updated on the wear. It also hydrates your skin and gives you a boost of radiance. So we are almost at the end, my friends. Um, so this pouch, which was given to me by Glamcore, actually reminded me of the product that I don't have. And I wish I had it because I wish I could show you really quick. But anyway, I'll just talk a little bit about it because I thought it was a really, really dope product. So basically, you know, like a stainless steel palette or like a paw palette that you stick to your hand. Um, so they are individually wrapped, like sanitized, little like clear plastic films that stick to your hand and you do your mixing or your lipsticks or whatever and you put that on your hands rather than getting products everywhere you just get it on this little sticker um, and then you take it off when you're done with the client it's genius um, so basically this is a good analogy like you know when you buy a cell phone case and it has like the two films it's like film one film two and you like stick it on and then you peel off um, the first layer and then that's when you get that like nice crystal clear like beautiful screen um that's exactly what it is basically stick it on and like when you're ready to use it you peel off the first layer and that's like the sanitized little mat and it's stuck to your hand and you just take it off it's, it's a great freaking idea thank you so much matt so it was funny right before i and i ended right before i ended the makeup show um, so right before the makeup show ended, I had not been to OCC and I do have a bunch of their, uh, lip tars, which I love. I actually went there and the gentleman that was helping me was really, really nice. And so if you guys have not been on, okay, this is like a public service announcement. If you guys have not been on OCC's makeup Instagram page, you have not lived. Um, their makeup artist and photographer are sick like the best hands down the best lip swatches and combos on instagram i'm sure they probably have them on their website as well so i'll leave a link for their website and their instagram page in the bio but they like it's literally it's like embarrassing like i just want to like i'm done i quit like she is 
sick i believe she's a female because i did ask um just like it's it's insane she's like amazing so i actually was like wait I, there was this color that i really like so i like pulled out my phone and was like just on instagram and <laughs> looking up all the shades that i really really wanted and so i got i can't even read these techno pagan it's this sick blue and i will promise to make a video of this because it's just it's necessary and then uh there's black dahlia metallic which is like this super super sick um red color it's like a deep red with some metallic in it it's a black dahlia pagan rx these look pretty similar in the tube but once you see them on they are different shades And these are just some nude lip pencils because I am a nude lip pencil fanatic. And I heard that these are some of the best and I have not tried them. So I'm really, really excited. Thank you so much, Nikki. Like, you seriously made my day. That was what I got from OCC. And then, so that was my haul. Like, I'm done. So if you guys made it to the end, you are the real MVP. Because this bad boy is long. I can tell. I'm talking way too much. I'm probably going to lose some subscribers because of this. Just kidding. I hope not. Don't leave. Also, now are my two products that are not in the haul that I did not pick up from the makeup show, but I decided to include them in this video. So basically, if you guys want to see that, just stay tuned. So this is the first product that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but storage, I live for storage. Acrylic cases and stuff, like I live for them because, you know, it just looks really pretty you can kind of display all of your favorite makeup and stuff so this is my new baby it doesn't have anything in it so i'm just showing you guys i will also fill it up show you guys what it looks it's big ah. oh my god it's like reflecting okay so this is my lux box acrylic container it's freaking humongous and it has the top is there's probably about an inch of space so you can stick stuff in the top too which i thought was like really really amazing put it on my shoulder so the bottom two drawers are really really deep as you can see this one's the deepest this one's a little less deep and then these you can put like eyeshadows lipsticks you can also take out the containers these little dividers I mean and you can put them crisscross like however you want or you can just take them out and have an empty drawer so I thought that was really really cool uh, thank you so much Luxbox I actually have a coupon code for you guys it is Makeup by Denise to get 10% off at Luxbox.com um, I will link it in the bottom as well so this was the first item that I wanted to show you guys I'm like so excited to fill it up I'm actually probably gonna fill it up with a lot of my new goodies in storage for me right now it's very limited very very limited so this is my new baby this is a portable speaker and I love it so the reason why I added it to this video is because as a makeup artist I listen to music a lot as a human being I listen to music a lot but I definitely listen to music while getting ready and stuff and music can just not be loud enough for me I'm definitely can be young ratchet when it comes to my music and my music taste so basically this is just a portable speaker that is really freaking loud and it's really really crisp um, I also have tried the Bose portable one really really amazing as well I prefer this one because if you look at it, it's just, it looks like a piece of art. It's amazing. This is the limited edition one. Um, I will definitely link it in the bottom for anybody that's interested. Um, so yeah, it's just so pretty. I just like want to stare at it all day. So it basically looks like this and it comes with a green plug. Like how freaking cute is that? Okay. So I just got to give you guys just a little bit, just a, just a little bit of me. This is me. So let's just talk about, I don't think that you guys understand when I say that I love music. Like, to the point of, like, I have insomnia because I used to listen to music every single day to fall asleep. And I actually broke my toe trying to get to my iPod. True story. I was, I had my dog. 
I used to put up the gate so that he wouldn't run around the living room and you know stuff he was still like a puppy and I didn't want him to like pee on the carpet so I put up the gate I climbed over it to get my iPod climbed back my toe got stuck in the gate we don't even have to talk about it because it's really like traumatic still I fell on the wee pad I think that's probably more traumatic and it was used anyway I was hysterical. I called my mom. My mom was in Florida and I like hysterically cried for like, I don't even know how many hours. All freaking night. It was like four o'clock in the morning and I should have been sleeping but I could not sleep. So I really needed my iPod and then now I have a broken toe. Well, it's not broken anymore. It's been years but every once in a while when I wear heels, that pain kind of creeps in. So I think it's something that I always have to deal with. But yeah, so that is how much of a music person I am. So having this is so exciting. It's like owning a piece of art. I'm obsessed. So, yes. So I'm just going to give you guys just just a little bit. I don't I don't know how loud it's loud it's going to translate. So you might want to like lower the volume like a little bit cuz I don't know what, what what are we listening to? Okay, so actually I do know what song I'm going to listen to. I'm going to put on Ludacris. Good Lovin' cuz that is my jam right now. Like and I'm the type of person that if I find a song I like, that's all I'm listening to. Like music, other music does not exist for like days. The last album that the Take Care album by Drake. I still I still get busy with that album. I you know Marvin's Room? Like A A A. There's something about that album that just moves me. So yeah, we're gonna test this bad boy out. I've been listening to it all day and yeah, I miss it. So as soon as this video is done, I'm playing some music. So thank you so much for watching guys. This was really, really fun to record for you. Um, if you guys have any questions or if there's any specific videos you want to see, just leave them in the comments below. Bye. Please hang up and try again. So the first thing that I always get as um, a makeup artist is disposable, disposable <laughs> items. Okay. Flat. It's a flat. Um, so those are their new lipsticks. So those were the swashes. Swashes. Those were the swashes. And it has like... <laughs> that would have sucked. Violet Boss highlighters. Babe, you can't make noise.